Hi Libras, welcome to your love, romance, and relationship reading. So the first thing that I'm feeling here is um, I'm sensing that some of you are looking at a relationship and it's almost like this month is a major period of reassessment. And the reassessment comes into the fact that, you know, those rose colored glasses are coming off. You're looking at the other person and you're just like, what did I see in him? What did I see in her? And for some of you, this is like an existing partner. For others, this is an ex and you're looking at them through a lens of like, why was I involved with them for so long? Why was I so hung up and caught up in that relationship for so long? Why was I pining after that person left for so long? And so it's a, it's a moment of clarity and I feel like it's an eye opener. And um, keep in mind too, a lot of the times this Mercury retrograde cycle it gives us extraordinary insights, okay? Things that we've been feeling but kind of swept under the rug, they do come out and they, you know, the light is kind of shown on them. So you are getting snippets and insights here, but the advice here with the Mercury retrograde cycle is not to behave and take actions in a rash manner. We want to really sit still and mold over a decision before we take the steps towards um, either, you know, severing relationships from the past or even blocking out past relationship partner. Um, so I feel like it's a very internalized process and I feel that some of you are ready to move on, ready to kind of like pick up the pieces and just, you know, be by yourself, be on your own. Okay. I'm also feeling as well when it comes to uh, those of you who are dating out on the, you know, on the dating world. Um, I'm feeling like there are a lot of good prospects. You have people that are very accomplished in their fields. You have people that are like um, top career professionals. And I'm also sensing as well, some of them might have been, you know, divorced with children. Some of them might be taking care of um, elderly parents too, is what I'm feeling. And so it it might interfere with the dating life a little bit. And it might interfere with, you know, your ability to meet them, their ability to invest the time in the relationship. And so please be patient with that because I feel like you're dealing with some great people, okay? And I'm also sensing as well, um, there are situations where it's like, I'm feeling as well, the both of you, and I feel more so from your end, Libras, but you and your partner, but I feel like the energy is heavier on your end, where you are very deeply concerned about your finances. And so you're not really sure about the, the next step in the, in the relationship because your financial situation needs to be straightened out, okay? So let me talk about this first, the foundation. We have here the Ten of Coins. And we have uh, the judgment card. For those of you in relationships where the two of you are married, the Ten of Coins is a very finance, uh, material goods type of a card. It can denote a very stable relationship where everyone has a role, where there's a lot of families, uh, members involved in the situation, where there's also that sense of security, stability, familiarity, things that are built up over time. So this is like a long standing relationship. And I'm also sensing that it basically means that, you know, there are a lot of financial considerations. If you were to break up, there's going to be, you know, the, the whole divvying up assets process. And it's, it's going to be a little bit messy. It's deeply entrenched and it can be very difficult to um, disentangle yourself from. So this is one of the things that might be holding you back, some of you from, you know, separating from a relationship. But overall, this is <clears throat> stable and it's comfortable. With the judgment card, the judgment card is wanting a new beginning, wanting a new lease on life, wanting to begin again and wanting to, you know, um, go out and meet new people. So there's a sense of boredom is what I'm sensing in relationships. And there's a, also a sense of you caring about the other person, you know, caring about the other person, uh, respecting them. But at the same time, I feel like the love in this situation, it's not really there. 
Okay. And then for others of you, I feel like you're in a deep rooted relationship. You might be empty nesters. The kids might have flown the nest. They're off, you know, going to school, getting their own job, starting their own family. And so you're making a lot of plans with your relationship partner. Where should we go next? What's our next destination? What are we going to do when we retire in a few years? So I feel like you're making contingency plans or you're making like, you know, planning for your future with your partner now that you both are no longer parents because the kids are already grown and they have flown from the nest and i feel for those of you in that situation there's going to be a lot of travel voyages taking classes together that's really cute taking classes together i'm feeling learning new languages and you know exploring the world so you're kind of setting up some type of a travel arrangement between you and your partner so that you can you know seize the day and um um, I want to say like invite romance back into your relationship. Okay. In the past, some of you have dealt with a separation. This is like divorce, court, uh, court proceedings, and it can also deal with, you know, somebody that you have children with where there was like a, um, you're trying to disengage from them or this is also in the past. So I feel like it's already, you know, done and over with. And it was a divorce that got you everything you wanted, you know, custody over the kids and things like that. But with this nine of wands, it's um, somebody that has been through the ringer. They've been through a lot of pain. And I feel like they've learned that love can also hurt. Okay. And um, with this card, I actually really like this card. It shows as well, you know, like... Um, our progression there's a little tree in his stomach and i usually uh, think of that as um either somebody that um it's like they don't let the 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 bad experiences ruin you know their future they don't let the bad experiences color the the lens in which they look at the world so they're still optimistic they're still willing to learn they're still trying to move on so i feel like many of you have been in a messy divorce and in the reverse position i feel like some of you are still a little bit jaded some of you are still a little bit skeptical that true love does exist and if you're in this state i feel like you're looking for more fun and excitement you're looking for more you know, short term relationships and flings, you don't want a, another relationship because I feel like you're a little bit bruised and battered. And so you might not believe that, you know, true love exists out there somewhere for you, which brings us to the present moment. Have here the five of wands. This is ongoing battles and conflict and competition. Um, Overall, this is not like, it's not like the Five of Swords where things can get very messy. This is more like disagreement, uh, differences in parenting style, differences in the way that we do laundry, wash the dishes, stack the dishes, whatever it is, I feel like there's a lot of bickering here when it comes overall to uh, the people that you're dating or the people that you're with where you don't really see 100% eye to eye. And it's linked up as well. We have two fives five of coins the way one person spends money you don't agree with the way that you spend money they don't agree with so there's a sense here about finances affecting the harmony in the relationship and i feel as well you're waiting on opportunities to make money to come in you're waiting on the alleviation of financial hardships and likewise your partner might have you know recently lost a job and is waiting for new opportunities so i feel like if you're currently in this state things are going to get better okay things will get better be patient with yourself be patient with your partner and i feel that if you can weather the storm the relationship will be a lot stronger as a result of it i'm feeling as well crowning this reading here we have the knight of swords and the seven of cups the Knight of Swords, this is your energy and what it denotes to me is I feel like some of you are a little bit more on the uh, enthusiastic, ambitious end, okay? You're trying to get life going for yourself and there are a lot of confusion, fantasies and ideas that you kind of need to get squared away. If you have a tendency as well, you know, this is like the roving eyes, the wandering eyes, internet dating, reaching out to people through some type of an online platform. And if you're doing that, if you're thinking about doing that 
and you're still in another relationship, just be very careful. It's not a good time to do that during Mercury retrograde because things that are hidden will be kind of exposed in the light. And I also feel as well, you might be dealing with a partner that you feel is a little bit frivolous, a little bit scattered. It's hard to have a, com um, a productive uh, conversation with them. They might also be lacking the drive and the ambition and it can feel a little bit frustrating. Be patient with them, okay? Going back to what I mentioned earlier, we don't know where the other person has been. So we wanna look at everything that they've been through. And I feel like it's gonna be very revealing as to what they've been through and why it makes them very fearful to make mistakes. So I feel like you've been, you're you with a partner that has been through a lot and you have to be extra patient with them. So treat them with kitty gloves and indulge them a little bit, but make sure that you, know, you don't um, uh, overly become critical of them, okay? Um, moving into the future position, we have here the Wheel of Fortune, and this is basically, uh, it's, it's the, the um, it's like the, um, I'm sorry, I can't speak tonight, it's getting very late. This is the karmic wheel, and it's like actions and consequences. If you've been behaving in a way that is upright and that is righteous, I feel like you will have some rewards where there will be um, relationships coming in, people coming in wanting to build things with you. And then on the other hand, I feel like you might have new beginnings, new travel arrangements, new, you know, declaration of love and stability coming in from a relationship partner. If you've been operating on the wrong side of it, I do feel there is a severance here, communication breakdown. Things that were promised are then rescinded. So the other person might not want to build or you might not want to build with the other person anymore because I do feel there is an energy here about someone being very scattered, having multiple options and not really following through on what they promise, okay? Um, I do feel for those of you who are single, I am sensing that you're looking, you're dating, internet dating especially, and you're looking for, you're looking for a little bit more fun and excitement. And I also feel like if you're dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, be very careful that they're not already in another relationship, okay? If you're dealing with a water sign, and I have here from the Seven of Cups, they're trying to form new plans with you. Everything is not written in stone just yet, but they're, they're trying. And I feel like you're growing kind of impatient with this person but this person is trying to appease you they're trying to make you happy okay so i feel like there is a potential here for a really good relationship so be very very patient with your partner for this month i'm sensing there is some financial hardships for many of you and it's um it's it's creating st stagnation in relationship it's also creating like um frustration between partners and i feel like it's gonna pass you will sail on from it. You will overcome it. You, I, I've, I'm sensing that you've been through it before. And this time, it's not any worse than the previous time. You sailed on from it last time. You will be okay this time. All right? So, Libras, be very, very patient, okay? Just slow down in the relationship sector. Um, I feel like for those of you who are waiting for options, um, I do feel that there might there will be delays you know it's mercury retrograde and also you want to make sure that you know you approach re new relationship and new prospects with a clear pair of eyes rather than injecting your ideals into it you want to be very um um you, you want to be very lucid when you come into the picture and you know in terms of what they're there for what they want out of the relationship what they expect from you just be very clear with expectations and intentions up um like up front okay so i'm gonna leave it at that um i wish you guys the best have a great time celebrating the holiday season with your loved ones and your family take care of yourself and i'll talk to you soon Bye bye